So you might be in a position where your Apple TV remote is not working. Now I've seen this happen tons of different times and the number one reason why this ends up happening is usually because there's a battery problem. So typically what I would recommend doing here is for one, making sure that on the back of your specific controller, if you have one of these specific Apple TV remotes, I think the newer ones allow you to charge them at the bottom. So if you don't have one of those ones, just double check the battery life of your specific, you know, Apple TV controller remote. So go through, if you're able to pry this thing on the back open, this might not be the best way to do it using a lightning charger, but essentially if you're able to pry this thing in the back open and pretty much plop out the back little charger, you just want to double check this battery that you have because this battery may end up being faulty. So these batteries do last a little bit of time. They don't last forever, but they do last quite a bit of time depending on how much you're using your remote. So all you wanna do is try seeing if you need to replace these batteries. Sometimes you may just have to do that and that is basically the number one thing you can try doing. Now when you have it replaced or you have your other battery, you can go and put the battery back in like this. You can even try seeing if there's anything broken inside of here. If there's any reason why it's not working or something, you can just double check that as well. Now whenever you're done, what you can try doing is go ahead and slide this thing back in just like so. And you can go ahead and there, just kind of you know, slide it in just like how I showed you before. Go ahead and you know, pop it in and you should be good to go from there. Now for some reason that doesn't end up working or your TV or your remote's still not working, you may just want to make sure your, your remote was actually properly connected to your TV in the first place. The other thing is, is that actually the IR blaster at the top, you want to make sure it's pointed to the receiver as well. So if your receiver, you know, if your Apple TV is here, but your TV is over here, you want to make sure that, you know, for the most part, you're kind of in the area of where the Apple TV is, and you especially want this thing pointing upwards towards it. If it's pointing away, that may not end up, you know, working. So make sure it's pointed towards it, and that's another thing you can try doing as well. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.